On the fertile plains of Kentucky, it's planting time. It was covered up, couldn't get the sunlight, so he's not as good and strong. As Nobody calls them plantations anymore, but tobacco farms remain as much a part of the landscape here as the Kentucky Derby. The harsh economic winds that threatened to snuff out the housing, banking, and auto industries merely fired the embers of tobacco. You know, with the economy the last few years, when that thing hit, it was like, well, they're not going to be smoking less because <laughs> they're going to be worrying more. Times have changed for cigarette manufacturers. The big plants have gone the way of the barnside ad. Smoking is increasingly unfashionable here at home. It's demonized on cigarette packages themselves and vilified in government ads. You don't know we die from tobacco. Sometimes you just lose a lot. But the ravages of time have left the growing fields of bluegrass country nearly untouched. Alvin Lyon's family has been sowing the Kentucky soil for generations, planting corn, soybean, alfalfa, and hay. But his most profitable crop by far is tobacco. It just brings in so much more money per acre than the other crops. Last year was probably about as good a year as we've had on tobacco, probably close to it. The crop was good, the quality was good, and the sale was good, you know, price was good. These fields have been growing tobacco since the 1600s. It used to be sold here to Americans. Now up to 70% of it is shipped abroad to new smokers in Africa, Asia, and elsewhere. For growers, the only thing that's changed is where to ship it. The math for tobacco has been anything but unhealthy. The quotas on the amount American farmers could grow ended in 2004. Production costs are cheap, as little as $50,000 to get started, compared to a million or more for the massive acreage and equipment needed for soybean or corn. And while corn and soybean costs sway with the Kentucky breeze, tobacco prices are holding steady at nearly $2 a pound. It's almost an entry and exit without any very much risk whatsoever. With tobacco netting as much as $2,000 an acre if it's a good crop, and corn and soybeans falling somewhere around five or 600 well, it's a pretty easy decision at that point that I'll, I'll go with uh, tobacco. With numbers like that, an industry as old as Kentucky itself is only likely to keep growing. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Georgetown, Kentucky.